let's talk about division and the different parts of a division equation or division fact. First of all, we're going to have our number that we're dividing up. We call this the dividend. You can think of this number as the number that we are essentially passing out or dividing up. It's called the dividend. That's what we're starting with. The next piece of our division equation is going to be the divisor. For the divisor, we're literally saying, how many copies of the divisor are in the dividend? In this case, how many fours or how many groups of four are in 12? That answer would be three, and that's gonna be our quotient. You probably already know this, but we can use multiplication to actually check our division. So we can say if we take the quotient and we multiply that by the divisor, we should get the dividend. In other words, originally we were saying, how many copies of four were in 12? There were three. So likewise, we can say three copies of four is equivalent to 12. And use that corresponding multiplication sentence to check our division. When we look at this equation, we can read it a few different ways. We can first say the quotient of 12 and four. We can also say four into 12. We can read it the traditional way and say 12 divided by four. We can also use that groups of language by saying how many groups of four are in 12? Let's look at just a couple of the different models for division. Let's first talk about the fair sharing model for division. I want you to think of this one like how children maybe distribute candy amongst themselves, right? Have you ever heard them say like, one for you, one for you, one for you. So in this case, if I'm doing 12 divided by four, I can literally think of I have 12 candies, I have four friends and I'm giving them each one candy at a time. Let me draw you a little visual. In this model, I'm literally taking one candy and giving each of my friends that one candy. And then I'm gonna go to the second round and I'm gonna go, this person gets this candy, this one, this one, and this one. And then I decide that I can go a third round and they're each going to get one at a time. I can see that each of my friends get three candies. Again, this is called the fair sharing model. Think of kids, they're sharing candy. The second model I wanna to talk to you about is the repeated subtraction model. Think of a scenario where I tell you that I need to make a banana cream pie. And I have 12 bananas and each pie is going to require four bananas. And my question to you is, how many pies can I make? Here's how this model looks a little different than our fair sharing model. Let me draw some bananas. So art isn't my day job, let's pretend that these are bananas. I'm literally going to think of, I need to take four bananas to make a pie. So I'm going to think about subtracting off. So I take those four bananas and I make a pie. Now how many do I have left? Well, I still have eight. Then I'm gonna take another four bananas off for my pie. I'm gonna subtract those off. Now I have four and I can see that I can make one more pie. I can make three pies total with my 12 bananas. In this case, I'm not doing a one banana for each pie because I'm not totally sure how many pies I'm gonna be able to make. I'm literally just taking a group of four away from my total, making a pie, taking another group, making a pie, taking another group, and I realize that I can make three pies. This is the repeated subtraction model. I hope you found this video helpful for introduction to some different models with division and the different vocabulary terms related with division equations.